For a long time now, carbon fiber has been the go-to choice for premium frames, regardless of the discipline. But steel and titanium have been on a comeback trail these past few years. So when my friends at Turner asked me to try their new titanium all-road bike, I leapt at the chance. So let's take a closer look at the Turner Cyclosis Titanium. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about who Turner is, because you probably haven't heard of them. Turner Bikes is the brainchild of their namesake, Dave Turner. I met Dave about 15 years ago when he visited Arkansas to ride with me and the crew at Competitive Cyclist. We were his largest dealer and just about every single one of us rode and raced on his mountain bikes. Dave Turner collaborated with Dave Weigel on the DW Link rear suspension, which were featured on both IBIS and Turner bikes at the time. And DW Link went toe to toe with Santa Cruz's VPP suspension. And I can't tell you how many fluxes, five spots, and sultans I sold in my heyday. But let's get back to Dave. He won't tell you this, but he's practically the heir to mountain bike royalty. He was in Marin County, California, riding with the pioneers of mountain biking. I'm talking about Joe Breeze, Gary Fisher, Tom Ritchie. Dave rode and raced against these guys when the sport was in its infancy. So he's got street cred for days in my book, and his mountain bikes are living proof of that credibility. But at his core, Dave's a cyclist who loves riding on dirt roads, and he was never happy with out-of-the-box gravel bike offerings. So he set out to make something that lived up to his standards. But because Turner is still a boutique manufacturer, he simply couldn't afford a run of a thousand carbon frames built to his specs. So he went with the next best thing, titanium. And because we live 15 minutes from each other, he showed up at my front door a few months ago with one of the first frames off the line, and I was immediately smitten. The welds are perfect, the geometry is spot on, and the oversized BB shell means it's as responsive to pedaling inputs as some of my carbon bikes. It's also road bike stiff at the front end and has clearance for up to two inch tires on 650B wheels. The main tubes of the frame are 3.2 titanium, which is slightly heavier but more compliant than the lighter and stiffer 6.4 titanium he used on the head tube. If you don't know what those numbers mean, they refer to the blend of titanium and other elements that forge the alloy itself. It's an heirloom quality material that'll look the same until the day you pass it on to your son or daughter. Where a carbon bike might crumple and crack after a hard impact, titanium will hold its ground better than steel. Another big reason builders like Turner have chosen to use titanium is because it allows for customization in ways that carbon fiber molding just doesn't. Turner isn't doing bespoke made to measure frames, but the titanium cyclosis is built to Dave's exact specifications and he's able to iterate and course correct on the fly if something isn't right in one of his small batch production runs. With carbon, you'd have to spend a hundred grand on all new molds if you decided to tweak the head tube angle a little or maybe even lengthen the top tube. But probably the best thing about titanium is where the ride quality falls on the material spectrum. At one end, you have a heavy spongy steel frame and at the other is a full on carbon race machine like my R5. Camped out Somewhere in the middle, you'll find a titanium frame. It manages to be both incredibly responsive and wonderfully compliant at the same time. Tie frames also generally feel very planted and have sure-footed handling in just about every situation. And in the case of the titanium cyclosis, that's no different. Dave likes to call this the mountain biker's road bike, but to be honest, it's a beast of a road bike all on its own, and I was blown away at how well it pounds out the miles and grinds uphill. It definitely likes being off-road better, and since it can accommodate both 700 and 650 wheels, it's quite a versatile little scoot. You also get rack mounts, a third water bottle mount, and bolts for a top tube mounted bag. So if you're looking for what I'd call a high-performance bike packer, then this is it. And to prove that point, Dave loaded his up and rode all the way to Tahoe from where we live in SoCal. It's over 500 miles. And if cyclocross ever comes back, I wouldn't hesitate to strip it down, throw on some tubulars, and lift this one over the barriers for an hour. At the end of the day, though, man, this bike is really rad. It's the most stair-worthy bike I've built up in a while. And with the right setup, it can do everything short of technical single track and bike park downhill runs, neither of which I really do. So the Cyclosis checks a lot of boxes for me. I've only owned one other titanium bike and it was a Merlin Extra Light mountain bike that to this day I regret selling. I don't regret much, but letting that one slip away was a huge mistake. 
It was a magical bike and the Cyclosis has a lot of that magic too. If you want to buy a Cyclosis for yourself, then there's a link in the description. Take care and I'll see you next time.